Overnight, you could see bright spots of orange on the hillsides and on the ground along Pleasance Valley Road in unincorporated Vacaville. It was enough to keep residents on high alert all night, even though the huge fire had already passed through here. I was on the roof. I watered the roof down. I didn't know if the winds were going to pick up and we start getting embers. Ray Gregorich's house was untouched by the devastating fire that tore through here. Firefighters told him his clear ditches and mowed down grass probably helped save the house. He thinks there was some luck involved too. The house across the street burned down to the ground. All I can think about is how lucky we were. And I feel for Anna and Brian. 5,500 homes in the city of Vacaville were threatened by this fire, but the fire chief says they are all okay. There was no damage in the city. He is still shaking his head thinking about this fire. The type of fire behavior that we were, I was seeing that night when I was doing an assessment of, of the area uh, was uh, as extreme as I've seen in 30 years in the fire service. The destruction happened in unincorporated Vacaville, a rural area that has its own volunteer fire department run by a man who has been chief for 40 years. I hate to lose houses, you know, but it's people I know all my life. He will count the destroyed homes today, but thinks it's at least 25. He also will have his crews on guard today. He hopes they can hold it, but is worried. If we get the winds, we could right back into it again. He says he has never faced a fire this overwhelming or emotional. Just about everyone knows me out here, so it is personal. It's uh, my dad was chief before I was, so it's been a long line.